Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is Knowing Your Debt, Your Debt Has Been Paid. These are nice words to hear from a mortgage company, aren't they? Your debt is paid. We read in Luke chapter 7, verses 41 to 42, two men owed money to a certain money lender. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he canceled the debts of both. Now, which of them will love him more? Imagine your mortgage company called to tell you that you'd been selected to have your mortgage of 345000 paid off and redeemed. How would you feel? Would you receive this free gift? Would you tell the mortgage company you're unworthy to receive such a great gift? Would you tell the mortgage company you did not want the mortgage paid off? How would you feel towards the mortgage company? Are you willing to receive the free gift of the forgiveness, the forgiveness of your sin? Your sin debt has been paid and redeemed. You're not a slave to sin anymore. Jesus paid the price for your sin on the cross. He died for your sin. Just like the mortgage company paying off your mortgage, Jesus redeemed your sin debt and marked it paid in full. You're telling Jesus you don't want his gift of freedom from sin. Are you receiving his gift with appreciation and thankfulness? For we know, and we read in Romans 6, verses 6 and 7, we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. When your heart has been baptized and washed clean with the blood of Jesus Christ, your desire to sin has been nailed to the cross and is crucified with Christ. You're no longer a slave to sin, but a slave to Christ. Your new desire is to know Christ and the power of the resurrection. And we read in Romans 6, verses 13 to 14 in the Passion Translation. So then refuse to answer its call to surrender your body as a tool for wickedness. Instead, passionately answer God's call to keep yielding your body to him as one who has now experienced resurrection life. You live now for his pleasure, ready to be used for his noble purpose. Remember this, sin will not conquer you, for God already has. You're not governed by the law, but governed by the reign of the grace of God. Celebrate today in the freedom that you have in Christ. Praise and sing a song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord, for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. Kingdom living is without debt. Amen and amen.